Good morning. Good morning. A little bit different scenery here. A little bit. In a van. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we're going on a trip. That we are. Are you going to tell them where we're going or is that going to be a surprise? Nah, they'll have to watch in the crockers. But. Excuse my clothes. Um, we're going to the water. To some water. But yeah, it's a secret local spot around here. I don't think it's really a secret, but a lot of, uh, well, multiple locals have told me about it, and uh, one of my buddies, Justin, kind of gave me the pin to it, and so I had um, that for a while, and I figured today's a great day to go, and uh, we're trying to explore the area a lot, and, you know, live life, I guess. And yeah, live a little, not work all the time. Yeah, and if you can't tell, living a little in here uh, is Jaylena's home. I have, I have been living out of the van officially for over a week now, I guess. So you officially live in a mobile home? Sure. It's your home and it's mobile. That's true. It's definitely shown me what I want and what I don't want. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Yeah, <clears throat> Jaylene's gonna be doing a video. Not, we're not gonna spoil alert it or anything, but it'll be more of you know living and building, kind of something like that. I'm trying not to. I don't know. Spoil alert. It doesn't matter. Then all right, that little. It's just gonna. It's it's gonna be um, basically what it's like living in a van while I'm converting it and how that's how it's helped me kind of figure out what layout I want and some things have changed and why that's changed so yeah and I think <clears throat> realistically it's exactly how I did the tiny house is if you come up with the whole plan before actually being in it and seeing it you can come up with all these plans but you don't know what's going to work right and that's kind of how I did the tiny house, you know, at first. I knew I was going to build the bathroom on, but I didn't know, you know, Wise. exactly how big or anything. And then when I started building, I was like, well, this actually would be a better room. And I've learned I don't really need a bathroom. I have an outdoor shower, um, go poo-poo number two, two in a bucket. And it just is what it is. You can move a bucket anywhere. And... I've showered in the winter uh, outside anyways already. Uh, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. And then can always get like a propane heater or something in there while you're showering. I think it'd be fine. But if you live in it while you're doing it, it's a pain in the butt. But you get to kind of figure out what you like and don't like. And if, you know, you kind of figure out that your normal plan, your first plan probably is going to change little bit realistically yeah I think no matter what you do you can draw every detail and something's always gonna wind up changing yeah um, it definitely happened with the van I thought that I had a pretty good idea of how I wanted the layout how I wanted to do everything then yesterday I was really like we we're actually gonna start putting up the wood on the walls yesterday and then I was like um, I was like Jason was like now you made me forget what I was going to say. We should build the cabinets and bed and stuff first so we're not wasting wood and adding more weight. Oh, well, I know, was like... If it was going to be behind that. The one where you like... Um, I need to make my list of what I need and what, what I have to have. So I made my list, and then I kind of just did a really, really rough sketch of the rough. layout. Yes, it was extremely rough. Of the layout, and... I wound up realizing that some of the things I wanted, I didn't really want being in here full time. So she's talking about me. <laughs> um, so you guys will hear about all that probably later today. Hopefully, hopefully today. Yeah, but for now, we're gonna drink our, our not the fish. best coffee. Mine tastes better with that other thing in it. From the convenience store, it's just better when you make it at home yeah everyone has their preferences yep but um 
we're gonna go hit up this spot you guys will see it in the next crockers video and then uh you know keep working on the tiny house and the fence and secure um security i guess all that stuff but uh this will be a, a quick little update copy the crockers we got a lot to do so uh you ready to go find the secret not so secret won't be a secret much longer after you put it out video let's do it spot all right see y'all